Public Image Limited, very warm welcome to check it out. Why did you, where did you get the name Public Image Limited from? Well, I guess it just it was a name of tune and it seemed to really suit the band. It's got a lot of bleak oh, meanings in it or whatever, you know. It's uh, very bleak, very ironical name, I think. That's rubbish, I think the kids relate that, to Johnny, it. have you got any That's not ideas? rubbish, baby, you know. You can't say that. Shut up. Throw him off. <laughs> Public Image came up quite a while ago and I think you've changed quite a bit since then. Um, what direction do you see the band going in now? To the pub after this. <laughs> Musical direction. We're going to learn to play, I guess. Oh, throw Demick Harper off. You mean public you don't, image? You don't think you can play? We do not like cheap publicity, pseudo gimmicks, condescension, and crawling. 
And that is what uh, was expected from us tonight, was it not? After all, you would only interview me and Wobble at first until we refused point blank. This bit yeah, will but be that was just out. for technical <laughs> reasons. That was for just for technical nothing. reasons, Johnny. You still can't hear us, can you? But by going through all this, is this not just a cheap gimmick and publicity stunt? I mean, you've just been really awkward here this evening. <laughs> and we've been as pleasant as we could be to you. I tell you what, just for a second, I've got a quote here from when you were with the Sex Pistols, Johnny. Uh, you're you're reported to have said, hold we're on. the only honest band to hit this planet in about 2,000 million years. You just hold on for a second. Because in a moment, I'd like to ask you how honest you think you've been to all the fans who've supported you from the start. Because we went out the other day and we talked to some people who are still very much into punk and what it's all about. Just have a look and at this. Andy. How did you lot all get started off on punk music then? Well, can I say that it had nothing to do with Johnny Rotten, right? Seeing as Johnny's on the programme, right? <laughs> I'd just say, first of all, right, that I'm much better looking than Johnny Rotten. And that, like, he's a terrible singer. And I'm glad Johnny Percy's got his job in the Sex Pistols. <laughs> okay? I think it was the best thing that Pistols ever done, sucking Johnny Rotten. Well, what, do you, what is your personal view on the music itself? What, the Pistols music? No, well, I, think the Pistols, I think the any... Pistols would be 100% better without Johnny Rotten. There you are. Well, okay. all right, I haven't, I haven't got Johnny Rotten now, so, like, what about the music itself? What particularly gets you into it? Not, nothing to do with the Pistols or Johnny Rotten or anything. Because it's really sort of down-to-earth music. Yeah. And I'm a really down-to-earth person, like, uh, like everybody else around Newcastle area. I mean, we're down-to-earth people. We don't yeah. want to end up like Genesis or anything like that, you know? Playing music we can't handle. And you know what about all the, all the fashion and everything that's uh, spun off as a result of punk? It was good when it first came out when it was cheap, but not The thing is, punk rock became a fashion because of people like Malcolm McLaren, you know what I mean? People like that you can do without people like that, you know? Big people bring it into the fashion. No. And then somebody else brings another fashion out. See, anything new, anything new becomes a fashion. You don't watch what you're doing, you know? I think leather's the only one that's stuck like. I think that's in the rock business, a hell of a lot of good. Yeah? It's brought it down, back down to earth. The thing is, rock music was growing that far, like, like I said, Genesis again, I mean, Rubbish bands like that, you know. It was getting to the stage where you couldn't go any further. You were having like 20 synthesizers in the band and all sorts of rubbish, I guess. And you couldn't produce it live, you know. And it, it just couldn't go any further. But I mean, it had to go back to the start again. And that's what punk rock is. What do you think of the sort of scene that uh, Johnny Rotten's into now? Public image. I'd like to swear there, but I'm not like it. Because I think public image are the worst band that ever came about, you know what I mean? So you think he's, he's sort of sold out a bit? I think Johnny Rotten is finished. There you are. He's an old man. He's finished. Yeah. He just thinks of himself and nobody else. Father's dead. So what do, now, what do you think the new direction is going to be now? Do you think there's going to be anything new coming up? Is it going to carry on the way it is? What's of course, man. There's next? bands coming up all the time. There's bands like the upstarts. It was this band like Stiff Little Fingers, who were the best band I've heard for the last two years, Stiff Little Fingers. They're going to be that punk band from Belfast, and they're going to be really big, Stiff Little Fingers. Uh, and what about bands like that up and coming all the time, punk rock is never going to die. You know what I mean? Punk is not the way you dress or the way you look. Punk rock is the way you think. Well, well, there you go. That guy oh, who you reckon you was primed exactly. actually you happens to be a member of a band him. called the Angelic Upstarts. Yeah. Now, they're a band who started off Look, very similar on. to yourself, you Johnny, stop? in the Sex Pistols. Yes, come on. I don't give two <laughs> what they're called. It's simple. Don't tell me I sold out, pal. I didn't tell I you. Out. That guy. It was the only honest band in 2,000 million years. I could not help the management being corrupt. I don't want to talk about the past. I want to go on. Well, all right. He also spoke about what you're doing now. And he reckons you've sold out. And Is this he doesn't know what we're doing now. He doesn't seem to know anything. Well, Has he ever seen us? Could Lying? you? I don't know. I didn't ask him that. Could you let us know? What you're doing now, what you're into now, what you link with the street. Look, I don't have to explain myself to anybody, and I ain't gonna really bother. Now, I was asked here, right, to interview with the band here, Pill, but now, like, we're facing a cheapskate comedy interrogation act, and it just ain't on, pal. It's a joke. It's a farce. 
You mean you don't want to give any messages to the... I don't to have the... to explain myself. Sooner or later, somebody will open their eyes. Oh, sorry, rude word. Well, it sounds like we've heard this story before. Really? Um, Would you like to tell me where? Good night. Good night. Will continue? Well, that's up to you entirely. Uh, do you all follow the leader? Yeah, there ain't no leader. Well, all right. I thought well, that was small... the point of having four people. You small... asked just me and him, didn't you, to do All right, interview, come on, the know? rest of the band. Oh, why don't you try answering an intelligent question? Try and think of one. Tell you what. Have you ever asked one in your life? Let's forget about it all. Right. Yeah, I think you oh, should. No, 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 that is total cop-out. Cop-out. Well, I'm pleased I didn't pick the short straw for that interview. Well, that's definitely it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the show, and whether you're a Ted or a Maud or a rocker or a punk or a skinhead, or even if you've got no public image at all, here's to the next 25 years. <laughs>